Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and this week we're still continuing on our Zoakia Part 2, or a Deck Profile Weekly, which is Zoakia. Um, I need to start saying that more carefully on that one, because, ugh, misinformation, they suck sometimes. Um, so anyways, in Part 2 of Zoakia, we're going to be doing the Zorga build series, and this is going to be Zorga, um, Crystal pretty much and for me I'm still trying to have a hard time doing alka magic because I asked my one of my friends who is a, a Zorga player and he thinks that there are some cards in here that could be do better or whatnot and you know try something completely different out of your comfort zone and just see what happens pretty much so you know that's what I've been trying to do all the time is just been trying different stuff and seeing how it's um, working and how is it going to be tied in some of the effects and whatnot. So it seemed kind of fun and I can't wait to, you know, try to stuck out in the local shop. Okay. So with that being said and done, I know the deck's all about Alka Magic and the number of order cards you can have in the deck. Pretty standard. Um, the deck is also inspired by, uh, Mazanori, uh, Inseki from Team Daybreak, because he's from Daybreak, obviously. He's been working for them the entire fucking time. Cheap-ass monk. <laughs> anyway, that's just me. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, for the ride deck itself, we are actually playing Dream Nibbling for Grade Zero. Grade 1, we're playing Rancard Chain. Black Tears, House Dragon for Grade 2. And then finally, Zorga himself for um, the Grade 3 lineup. So, this is our choice. This is how I choose it. So, you know, it is what it is. And then for grade, uh, grade zeros for the main deck, standard of course from all the other decks, but I figured this is one way for me to understand cards better. If I actually just take the time and think about what cards are good and what not good, you know. Now, so we got four alleged pixies uh, for heals. Eight crits, we're doing Abyss Temptation. And four Alanas. Because, why the hell not? I'm noticing the triggers are actually getting more and more effective. Like, on set 4, we're getting draw triggers that do the same shield ability, shield value itself, too. And I just never understood why draws are so important in each deck. Because I know people want a bigger hand. But I think protecting yourself is far more important. And, you know, when someone calls you a failure player, I think that's just kind of stupid, you know. It just really is stupid. But next, we got three fronts, which is frenzying uh, Eris, just because we want that extra 20k shield as a backup in case something went wrong. And of course, we got our dragon, our lovely leaf dragon from hell, pretty much. So this is just my personal lineup, and you know everyone can be allowed their own opinions, and that's okay. Okay, there's that. Then for grade one. We're actually playing uh, 12 grade ones in this deck. So, of course, we're playing four copies of Rogue Hand Hunter. And then we're playing four new copies of Unappeasable Wild Crow. Wild Crow's skill is the new card. One turn only, so you can just play one of these at a time and use one for the guard if you want to. If you played an order card this turn, discard an order from your hand and draw a card. So it's just... It's another way to help you draw more cards. I know the deck can like mill like crazy because it's like grand blue related. But you can still have an extra draw power in case you need some cards on the side as well. Okay. Anyways. Sorry. Okay, and then 
Finally, we're playing four complete guards in a deck. So that's why it's just uh, 12. We're just doing 12 grade, to, uh, 12 grade one at the moment, and I like the idea. There might be more coming up pretty soon, but you know, you can't just have your deck completely full of alchem magic. That sounds kind of ridiculous. Next, for great, uh, great twos, we are actually playing only eight great twos. Starting with a three, we're playing three copies of Shadow Clothes, Cloth, Cloak. Um, I was thinking about maybe playing uh, maybe four of this guy, but I figured three is a good starting point to see if, as long as you understand the cards carefully and read them kind of carefully, because it's just about reading your cards. When this unit is placed on rear guard from hand, search your deck for up to one one order card and reveal it. And if your drop zone does not have card with the same card name as that card, discard the revealed card. Search your deck. Or shuffle your deck. Doesn't sound too bad in effect because it helps you like get some cards ready for Alchemagic or what cards you want to bind and whatnot. So it sounds kind of good to me. So there you go. Okay, sorry. Um, finally, we're playing three copies of Inheritance Maiden Hedrina. Um, the reason why she's still in here is because she still falls under Alka Magic, and she's like one of the few Neo Nectar units that perform uh, Alka Magic. So that's part of just why she's just here. And then for our final card, we're playing uh, two copies of the order card, Nectar of Sensationalism. Sensationalism. Fuck. I gotta get my English name across. But yes, this is all we're kind of working with, and this is what I've been just been. This is what I've been starting with, at the moment. So that's why he's in here. I might drop it, drop Hedrina, and put in another Shadow Cloak. But we'll see what happens later on tonight. Or um, let's see if I have any time to do a remote uh, testing fight duel or something like that. Finally, for grade 3s, we're playing 10 grade 3s in this deck because Zorga is the only unit grade 3 you need for this deck. The rest is Alka Magic. So, that's partially why he's in here only. <laughs> Ugh. Sorry, guys. So, we're, of course, we're playing 3 Mysterious Rain uh, Zorga. It's just 40 Persona Run ability and the skill that goes with it as well. And then, for the next cards, we're playing 3 ofs and 2 ofs. Three ofs is Grief, Despair, and Rejection for the first Alchemagic, who's also tied to Zorga as well. So that's partially why it's in here. Believe it or not, it's in here for a reason. Then we got two copies of Regurgitation from the Underworld. And then for the new one we have is Death Inviting Black Magic. I love the name Black Magic, but then again, I love Black Magic. And its skill is, this cost can be reduced by Combo Blast 1 for each card in your bind zone. Play with this card by, play, by Combo Blasting 4 cards and draw 2 cards. It may not seem that appeasable with you guys, but as long as you bind a certain amount of cards, you can basically play this card for free if you want. So, it's not going to be a problem at all. It's just going to be a tricky kind of situation. But, yeah. So, anyways, you guys, that is the conclusion deck profile video of Zorga, along with the conclusion uh, Stoikea deck profile for this week's deck profile videos. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video very much so. I know this made it be seem not too different. I was going to put the, the shark back in, but I'm like, the shark, I need some more convincing on that one. But, you know, it's just fun testing out new units. It's fun testing out, you know, different units that will suit for you and whatnot. So, I don't see the problem is. But, actually, I don't even know why I even said that, what the problem is. I always say that a lot. I need to, I need to change my vocabulary a lot. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video very much. So, it was fun for me to build uh, Zorga again, believe it or not. And, you know, I need to start playing these other decks. I mean, I love my Basagra. I love my Sarah Snow very much. And I do love their Vana sometimes. But I need to start being more open and trying out these other decks that I've been building and spend my money on. So, you know, maybe that's just another goal for me for 2022. Be more open to the concepts. But anyways, you guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, 
If you guys did enjoy this video very much so, leave a comment down below and subscribe and like this video. Thumbs up for it if you want. And yeah, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, I'm open for questions. And I hope you guys have a good week, make good choices, and I'll see you guys next week when I start doing uh, Brandgate. So I'll see you guys next time, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.